Hey guys, welcome back to another drawing two. What do I do? Tutorials. That's right. <laughs> so I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil. Hit pause if I go too fast. Too fast. Oh, I can't talk. Oh. Beep. Hit pause if I go too fast. So we're going to be doing Deku today. Time skip Deku with the mask on, right? So. He's kind of like jumping to the side. He's kind of jumping off this way. So it's like a profile of his face, right? With that mask on, okay? So to fit in those big ears, you gotta like put his head down here in this corner, okay? And we're gonna start with the mask, right? So let's see, so where we put it? So like down here, okay? right down the corner, because we need room for his big rabbit ears. So we just do a line down like this, and then down to there. All right? And then this goes this way. And how far do we go? So we go nearly all the way up and around, right? Like that, right? And there's two sort of levels to this mask. So it goes back down, and then across, like so, right? And so this comes back to a, a point at the front of his face, right? So it comes across here. So we got like a tick sort of going on, like a check mark, I think is what you call it in the States or This comes down like that, right? So then we got all these lines coming up with, right? So we got like, there's like an extra edge line first. So this like comes across here. It goes just in under here. Like that, and then we got like, line here coming down like so. And then we double these up, so we just we'll just draw the single line first like so and then this is a small white area just in there and that has a line on it as well and then you just double this line up And then we got these sort of air holes. Sort of here, and the one here, and we need to just color some of it black and leave a white edge. Right, so. Right, and then we put his eye in here. So it just like curves around, so real big. Down like so, right? And his pupil just in here. Like so. And he's got like a white iris. Just in there. And then of course all here is dark black. And the ray is actually all for one coming out of his eye, right? So I gotta like draw that in. So it just comes out of his eye here and like it goes down. Right, so I gotta like color around that. Right, so I won't finish that all for one line because it goes across his body. So we gotta draw his body first, okay? We get the rest drawn in. So his head then comes out this way. He might have like a frown line and stuff here as well. You know, just traveling back that way, you know, with some dirt lines and stuff on the mask, maybe a line just here. So like scratch marks and things on that mask, right? Cause he's, he's in the wars as they say. 
So then that head would curve around. Now this goes real long, okay? Because he's got like, he's got like this big sort of torn, like ear thing going on, like, like real big sort of rabbit ears, right? And it's like scratched and torn and comes back down this way, right? You can do this kind of any way you want, really. It doesn't have to be the same way as I'm doing it. And there's two of them. And you could have like a foam line or something, scratches, just dirt on it and things. And then this goes off back real far. Right, so like roughly like that. And I think we can see some of his hair, like a hair spike sticking out here. Hair spike or two of his normal hair just sticking out there. So then he's got um, um, his uh, Gran Torino's cape wrapped around his neck, right? So it sort of comes out this way. Coming around there. And flowing back this way. So we got like a couple of lines now. So this comes out like so. Like this. And then the top line. And this will go off like this way. Yeah, right off my page. And then the another sort of fold line off the page that way. And then this will come down, sort of like down here. And it'll wrap around, meet another fold line, just there, and again, dirt lines and stuff like that on it. <clears throat> okay, so that's like the front of it. And then the back of it is sort of all scratched and torn and um, goes in behind his rabbit ear sort of thing up here, right? So it's like, again, sort of torn sort of line like that. And, you know, dirt and things and scratches and stuff. And it goes in behind his ears up here. So you've got like, you know, some folds and things. Wrapping around his head. Just there. So you're going for the direction in behind his head. Like another sort of fold line there. I think it's just like a shadow underneath his chin here, so it like goes this way. And the front of it, just there, and he's got like these circles, like so, right? And I think it's just like shaded black in under here. And again, scratches, dirt, dots of dirt, and
So stuff like that. You can do as much of that as you want. Okay, so we have an arm, shoulder coming out here, a backpack. So what do we do first? So there's a strap on his arm, right? So the strap comes down this way. And it kind of curves around the front here. And this is going to go over the back of his shoulder and then goes down here. And then it'll come back out across up to here in underneath like that right so his arm will come out from this shape there's just a few details there's like a buckle down here you know with the brown strap sort of coming out of it and then this has some curved lines and things on it like so right and then so more sort of lines for clothing and his costume just coming out here right so this comes around like so, and then this goes around his shoulder again. Another line there. And then his shoulder starts to come out here. So we've got like the arm sort of bumping, coming out there, right? And then he's got like torn, a torn sort of part of his sleeve, just like here, coming out. And then this comes down around his arm and his shoulder will sort of travel back into there. And so roughly that's what we got for shoulder and there's a line here and some black lines for his costume. You know, the green and black sort of that he wears as his costume just, just here. Right, so that's sort of more torn sort of parts here. So his tricep just curves out here. His bicep will come out the front sort of here somewhere, like so. And then his forearm goes down this way. And his elbow will go sort of off here. And then forearm comes down there. And then he's got his glove on just here. So I think they're the Air Force gloves. And then this comes out down to there. And this has sort of extra lines coming around it. So, and then he's got like strapping on this arm here. Like so, and then the side of his body will just come down like here, right? And then the front of his body is over here. So his chest just comes out. Cross into here. And then we got like some four lines for his belly. This goes down and a belt going that way. So these are just like four lines for his clothing and then like stitching lines for the middle. And this goes up underneath there and like that. And then So this brown belt has to go underneath his armpit, goes around his back, like so. I think we got like more black letters or something just going this way. Or at least there should be, it's hard to see though. Like so. Okay, and then there's a backpack here and it's it looks like it's open, so it's got like a box-like shape. 
there. And then like there's like the top of this. You know, this is mostly drawn in with hatching now. And then, so if the bag is sort of open, right? So it comes out and down. So you've got like this open sort of section just here. And the outer edge just comes out and around here again. Um, oh, and there's just a bit of a sleeve I forgot here. Just like this comes down here. Just a sort of a gap in there. And then, so the side of the bag just comes down here. And then he's got like a bit that sticks out. And this comes down. It's got like a lip on it. Goes back this way. Goes down that way again. And I think this goes just up into his body somewhere. I can't really make it out. So like maybe just like here. All right, and again, dirty, dirty bag. You can add as much detail like that as you want. And I think we should see his hand over here. So, well, you could leave it like that if you wanted and just that's it, you're done. But we can see just a bit of his hand sticking out here, okay? Um, let's see, so like his glove, so it kind of comes out like so, right? So this is like his wrist. comes out like this, it's like doing this kind of thing. And so it comes out like so, and then we got his index finger, just sticking out here. And this goes around, segment, segment there. And his hand goes that way. And thumb comes around. Out to there and goes back up like so okay and we can just see some fingers curling around just down here like that and then we should have those air force you know the on the, the gloves he's got like these are blue now I'll just do them black but if you were coloring, these should be blue lines. Right, and then if you want, you can add like more of this sort of lightning like, you know, um, all for one sort of stuff coming out of his face. Um, I'll just add a bit of it. It should be white on the inside, so you might, you know, you might have to color it in a little bit, like remove some of your lines or erase some of your lines. And he's got some like coming around his body and stuff like that as well. So like coming up from here, say. pattern it's not you know it's not anything special so you can I hope you can make that out it goes that way and then there's some that come out from behind here as well and some coming across his hand just like random sort of lightning Like so, and you know, of course, like he's jumping and rushing and stuff like that. So you could do like action lines, you know, like this kind of stuff, you know, dirt and dot and stuff in the air, like 
leaves in the air, dirt, debris. Um, you yeah, know, but that's totally optional. And I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Deku with his mask after the time skip. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, guys.